8th grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 8 lesson 1 the areas of squares and their side lengths number one find the area of each square each grid square represents one square unit square a has nine complete square units and several fractions of square units I'm decomposing square A, taking the fractions of the square units, and then reassembling them, creating whole square units. This will give me a clear illustration of the area of square A. This is the last of the fractions of square units. So as you can see here, we have a total of 17 square units. So I can say that the surface area for square A is 17 square units. Square B has 12 complete square units and several fractions of square units. Like I did with square A, I can decompose and then compose using fractions of square units to complete whole square units. Here you can see that square B has a total of 20 square units. To find the area in square units for squares C and D, I'll use the same strategy of decomposing and composing. Here you can see that the surface area for square C is 13 square units. If you pay attention, as you decompose and compose, you'll notice that a pattern develops. Here on the top side of the square, you'll see that there are three composed square units. On the left side of the square, there are three more, and on the bottom of the square, there are three more. And now on the right side, you'll see that there's three more. You could save a lot of time by recognizing this pattern. All you'd have to do is compose one of the sides and you can predict the total of square units for that particular square. The surface area for square D is 37 square units. Number two, find the length of the side of a square if its area is A, 81 square inches. Since the side lengths of squares are always equal, the length of one side times the length of the other side will always equal the square's area. 9 squared, or 9 times 9, is 81. Square A has 9 inch side lengths. If the area of a square is 4 25ths centimeters squared, the side lengths would have to be 2 fifths, because 2 fifths times 2 fifths equals 4 25ths. The side lengths would be 2 fifths centimeters long. If an area of a square is 49 hundredths square units or 0.49 square units, then the side lengths must be 7 tenths or 0.7 because 0.7 times 0.7 equals 0.49 or 7 tenths times 7 tenths equals 49 hundredths. The side lengths for square C are 7 tenths of a unit. If the area of a square is m units squared, then its side lengths must be m because m times m is m squared or m units squared. Square D has m units side lengths. Number 3. Find the area of a square if its side length is a 3 inches. 3 inches times 3 inches equals 9 square inches. A square with side lengths 3 inches long would have an area of 9 square inches. Find the area of a square if its side length is 7 units. 7 times 7 is 49, so the area would be 49 square units, or 
49 units squared. Find the area of a square if its side length is 100 centimeters. A side length of 100 centimeters times a side length of 100 centimeters would equal 10,000 centimeters squared. So the area would be 10,000 centimeters squared. Find the area of a square if its side length is 40 inches. A 40 inch side length times a 40 inch side length equals 1600 square inches. The area of this square would be 1600 inches squared. Find the area of a square if its side length is x units. x times x equals x squared. The area of this square would be x square units or x units squared. Number 4 from 8th grade unit 7 lesson 14. Evaluate 3 and 1 tenth times 10 to the 4th times 2 times 10 to the 6th. Choose the correct answer. 3 and 1 tenth times 2 equals 6 and 2 tenths. So that eliminates A and B. 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 6th. That equals 10 to the 10th, which eliminates D. So the correct answer is C. 6 and 2 tenths times 10 to the 10th. Number 5, from 8th grade, Unit 7, Lesson 15. Noah reads the problem. Evaluate each expression, giving the answer in scientific notation. The first problem part is 5 and 4 tenths times 10 to the 5th, plus 2 and 3 tenths times 10 to the 4th. Noah says, I can rewrite 5 and 4 tenths times 10 to the 5th as 54 times 10 to the 4th. Now I can add the numbers. 54 times 10 to the 4th plus 2 and 3 tenths times 10 to the 4th equals 56 and 3 tenths times 10 to the 4th. Do you agree with Noah's solution to the problem? Explain your reasoning. 5 and 4 tenths times 10 to the 5th equals 54 times 10 to the 4th. It does equal 56 and 3 tenths times 10 to the 4th Converted to scientific notation, it would be 5 and 63 hundredths times 10 to the fifth. So I disagree. Noah's answer was not in scientific notation. Number 6 from 8th grade, Unit 7, Lesson 6. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to 3 to the power of 8. A. 3 squared to the power of 4. 3 squared to the power of 4 is equivalent to 3 to the power of 8. B. 8 to the power of 3 is the same as 8 times 8 times 8, which equals 512, not 6,561, which is what 3 to the power of 8 equals. C. 3 times 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 3, which is 3 to the power of 8 and equal to 6,561. D. 3 to the 4th to the power of 2. That is equal to 3 to the power of 8. E. 3 to the 6th power over 3 to the 2nd power. That equals 3 to the 8th power over 1, which equals 3 to the 8th power. F, 3 to the 6th power times 10 to the 2nd power. That equals 30 to the 8th power, so that does not equal 3 to the 8th power. Tutorials for 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. Share, consider subscribing, check out more tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.